everybody, I'm Kendall Schaefer and I'm going to show you how to fold and wrap a surgical gown for the autoclave. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your freshly laundered surgical gown and lay it flat on a clean surface. You're going to notice that the outside of the gown is facing upwards and that the edges are draped over on the side. The first thing you're going to do is take these edges and fold them in to where there is a crease at the underarm. You're going to do that to both sides. And you'll notice that when you do this, you are now going to be looking at the inside of the surgical gown. This is important because if you do it the other way around, when you unwrap your gown and you're ready for surgery, it will be inside out, and that would ruin everything for your sterility. The next thing you're going to do is take all of these tabs and fold them into the center. You don't want them dangling around outside of the surgical gown. Next, you're going to take your new edge and fold that in to where the neckline is. Now you don't want to make this too large here or else you won't be able to wrap it properly. Once again, you're going to do this to both sides, making sure that it's laying nice and flat. Next, you're going to come to the base of it and start folding it in, a, in an accordion manner. You're going to do this so that when you are ready to don your surgical gown, it will just fall out nicely from your packaging and you don't have to worry about touching anything that's supposed to be a sterile surface. Now at the end, you're gonna take the top part and fold the collar down, making sure that these two little tabs remain inserted into the collar. You will set aside the gown and get your surgical huck towel ready. This should also have been freshly laundered. You're gonna take it and fold it in half in the hamburger style. Next, you're gonna fold it like an accordion into approximate thirds. Then you fold it in half one more time, and this is gonna be where it stays. You're gonna take this corner here and fold it in, and you will take your autoclave indicator strip and just set it in. You do this so that you will be able to know if the autoclave actually worked and your gown and towel are uh, sterile. Next, you're gonna set these aside and get your fabric ready. Once again, these should be freshly clean. You're going to have two of them. The inside one is going to be the actual sterile side, and then you have one on the outside that will interact with the non-sterile environment. Take your gown and towel and set them in the middle. Now, you're going to take the bottom and fold it up, pulling it tight. Then you're going to take this top part and fold it down so that you have a little tab here. You're going to do it on the sides too, fold it and make a nice little crease so you can pull it tight and then fold a tab over. You're gonna do that again on the other side. A common mistake would be to not make this tight enough, and if it is not tight enough, it could fall apart if it were to fall or anything like that, and then you would be breaking your aseptic technique. Next, you're gonna fold the top part down, making sure that it stays nice and flat, and then you're gonna kind of tuck it in like an envelope. Once again, you're gonna make sure that you have a little tab here, and this will make it so that you are able to open your surgical gown much easier and be able to preserve your aseptic technique when you are donning your surgical gown. Next, you're going to take it, turn it around. The reason you do this is when you are opening it, there's a certain way that you'll learn later, but it has to do with how you get it out in your other hand, and it just makes everything work smoother. Then you're just gonna repeat the same process again making sure to pull it tight and snug here. Okay. Starting at the bottom and then working through to the edges. Another common mistake would be not making it lay flat enough and you don't want these bulky because that will take up more room in the autoclave and in when you're storing them before surgery. Once again, the last thing you do is pull down this top part, making sure everything is nice and folded flat, and lastly, tucking it in. Now, it's very important to put on tape here. One of the first pieces of tape you'll put on is gonna have your name, pack name, date, lab date, and group number on it. And all this information will be in the surgical suite. If you don't label it correctly, you won't know which one is yours, and that would not be good on the day of surgery. The next piece of tape is your autoclave indicator tape. It's the one with the special stripes. If you don't put this on, you won't know if your pack was actually autoclaved. And then lastly, you have one more piece of regular tape that just goes on the bottom. And that is how you fold and package your surgical gown. Thank you.